Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're looking at the Lazy Experience API script for Roll20. This script automatically tallies the XP for monsters as they die, and makes it very easy for you to award XP to your players when a session ends. Note that because we're using the API, a pro account is required in order to do this. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So this video came about from a conversation I had with one of my patrons, who was asking how I handled XP in my games, and typically I'll do story-based experience, so I give out XP when the players meet a particular objective. But it got me wondering, you know, what is available out there for folks who want to track every monster that they defeat and award experience that way? And so I went through and I looked at a couple of different scripts, and I think of the ones I found, Lazy Experience is my favorite. So let's take a look at how to set it up and get things running. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install the script. And Lazy Experience is part of the Roll20 API script library. So you can just come in here, search for Lazy Experience, it'll show up, and then you can add it to your game. This script was written by Robin Kuiper. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But this script is really great because it's going to make it very easy for us to track and award experience. So now that we have the script installed, we'll go back into our game. And the first time that you load up your game after Lazy Experience is installed, you'll be presented with a configuration menu. If you ever need to bring that menu back, the command is XP space config. And let's take a look at the settings that you have available here. So command exclamation point XP, that's what you're going to use to invoke the commands. You can change this if you want to, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend that. I'd say just leave it as it is. Marker dead. So the way that lazy experience works is when a token has a specific marker applied to it, in this case, the red X marker that indicates dead, that's what tells the script it's time to add the XP for that monster to the overall tally. Player XP attribute is experience, and this is what is the experience item on the character sheet that you're using. And if you're using D&D 5e, it's just called experience, so you can leave this as is. Same thing with NPCs. So if you're looking at the NPCs XP attribute, that's going to be NPC underscore XP. Now this extra players option is handy if you want to divvy the experience out to an NPC. So you could say there's one extra player in the game and then the experience tally will be divvied out among your live players and the NPC, but I'm not going to do that for right now. I'm just going to leave that at zero. Give XP instant. So if this one is set to true, then it's going to automatically award the experience for a particular monster immediately after that monster is defeated. If it's set to false, like it is right now, then it will not automatically award the XP. You'll have to invoke a special command at the end of your session in order to do that. And then lastly, update sheets. This is going to either automatically add the XP to your character sheet or not. And I actually want to do that, so I'm going to click this option here, and you can see now it's set to true. So what that means is we're going to automatically add the experience for a particular monster to our character sheet. Now you'll notice right here we have this players subheading and it says no players found, but I do have a player in my game. You can see Daisy's right here. That's because I invited Daisy to the game after I installed the script. And so we need to refresh Lazy Experience so that it knows that Daisy is now part of the game. And the way we're going to do that is by clicking this refresh players button. And you can see now Daisy shows up in the list. If we click on Daisy's config, we can see that Daisy is active, so that means that she will be included in the XP distribution when the time comes. And we'll also say refresh characters here, and that will pull in the characters that Daisy controls. So if Daisy has more than one, we could mark them as inactive. So maybe only Syl here is part of this session and other characters that Daisy controls are not. So you have a good deal of flexibility as far as how the XP is going to be distributed when the time comes. Okay, so that's our setup. So now let's see the script in action. So we can see here that Syl is in combat with this zombie in this tavern. So let's say that Syl defeats it, right? We go through, we, we knock the zombie down to zero hit points, and then we're going to mark it as dead. So we click on the little circle here, and we say red X. Boom. 
now the zombie is dead. And you'll notice now we have a message that's been whispered to us from Lazy Experience saying that the zombie just died. Do you want to add 50 XP, which is how much experience a zombie is worth, to the threshold? And we'll say yes to that. And when we do that, now we have this little menu that comes up that says session experience so far is 50. And the experience divisors is one. And the experience divisors is how many players or how many characters are we divvying the experience between. And right now I only have one player in my game, Daisy, so the divisor is one. And that's the basic process for this. So anytime a monster or NPC is marked as dead, the red X will pop up. You'll get the prompt in the chat asking you to add the XP to the threshold. If you don't want to add the XP to the threshold, just ignore the prompt. Don't click yes and it won't tally it. Also, the script is smart enough to know that player characters should not be put into the XP tally. So if I mark Sill here as dead right now, You'll notice I do not get prompted from Lazy Experience to add her XP amounts to the overall tally. Now sometimes you'll want to add XP from other sources. Maybe your party has successfully bypassed a trap, or maybe they've done some really excellent role playing and you want to give them some extra experience points for that. Well you can certainly do that too. Just type in the command XP menu and that brings up the experience menu that you saw earlier. And what you can do is say add session experience and that will allow you to add in the experience for whatever it is that you did. Maybe the trap was worth say 25 XP. So we'll just submit that and now we can see the overall session experience is 75. If you want to add XP to a specific player character, so maybe Syl here did some awesome RP and we only want her to get the XP, we can say add XP, same deal, we'll do 25 submit and now you can see that Syl has 25 experience points up from the zero that she had originally but the overall session experience has not changed but the thing to know about this is this xp that's reserved for Syl is not applied to her character sheet yet in fact if we open up her character sheet right now i've just alt double clicked on her token to bring up her sheet we can see that she still has zero experience points so what we want to do when it's time to award XP, you know, the session has ended and we're all done for the night, then what we want to do is click this end session button. And that distributes the XP to all of the players involved. And you'll see here, we've got a message that's public to everyone that says the session has ended, everyone gets 75 experience points, and your character sheets have been updated. And again, that's because I set that update sheets flag to true in the config menu. You'll see here, though, that Syl has gotten 100 experience points because she had those extra 25. And we can see down here, that's been whispered as well, saying that Syl got 25 for a total of 100. Now, Syl's player is going to see these messages as well. So I've just swung over what it looks like for Daisy, and you can see here that this message has come in. You got 25 extra experience points, bringing your total up to 100 XP and that your sheet has been updated. So if a player does get bonus XP for good role playing or, or for something else, they will be notified and then that XP will get added to their sheet. Back to my DM view here. If I run the XP menu command again, you'll see now that the session experience has been set back to zero. So once you end the session by clicking the end session button, it's going to set everything back to zero. If at any point in time you need to reset the experience back to zero without clicking end session, you can just click reset experience and that will put it back to zero as well. One last thing to mention about this. In order for Lazy Experience to trigger, you need to manually click on the token and set it to dead using the circle menu here. I've seen reports on the forums of people who ran into trouble because they were using token mod or some other macro or API to automatically apply the dead marker to a token. And that does not cause Lazy XP to trigger. So that's just something to know about this. If you do want to use this script, you are going to need to manually mark your tokens as dead in order for it to catch that the tokens XP needs to be applied 
to the overall tally. And one last thing to mention here is if you like the map of this tavern that I'm showing, uh, this is available to all my patrons, and I've got a link to my Patreon down in the description below. So there you have it, that's how you can use the Lazy Experience script to tally and award XP to your players. I hope you found this video helpful, if you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time folks, have a great day.